Alright, so now we're going to do the 2001 free response question 2. And if you want to just pause the video and look at the question, and then you can resume the video and watch me solve it. So, zoom out. Okay. So, in this problem, we have this pot of tea, and this pot of tea is cooling, and here we have this data table that tells you the temperature of the pot as the time moves on, right? So our first question is to approximate the rate at which the temperature of the tea is changing at time t equals 3.5. So what we do is we look where 3.5 would be if we were to have a point in this data table, and it would be right between t equals 5 and t equals 2. So to find the rate, what we would do is we would simply uh, find h of 5 minus h of 2 divided by 5 minus 2. It's kind of like um, if you were to find the slope of a line, you would find um, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? Essentially, the rate, the derivative, is the slope, right? You're just trying to find what it would be at, like at um, three and a half, which would be the midpoint of that. So, because this data table tells us what h of 5 and h of 2 is, we can simply plug that in and say 52 minus uh, 60 and 5 over 2. And so, get my eraser. And so we end up getting 8 over, this would be negative 8 over 3. And then for units, we know that our h of 5 and h of 2 are in degrees Celsius. And then the bottom is in minutes, right? So that's kind of a nice little way to know how to formulate your uh, rate. But most of the time I just know that your time is on the bottom and whatever is changing over time is at the top, right? So that's the answer to um, A. Cool. So, the second problem wants us to explain the meaning of 1 over 10 times the um, times the integral from 0 to 10 of h of t. So, I would explain this as the average temperature in degrees Celsius from t equals 0 minutes to t equals 10 minutes. Because essentially what it's saying here is you want to find the area underneath h of t and then you want to divide that by 10. It, it's, um, it's really just the average temperature, right? Um, so for full points you would want to include both degrees Celsius and minutes and um, obviously the right interpretation. Um, and then for the second part of this question, it asks us for a trapezoidal sum with four subintervals. So, trapezoidal sums, um, I don't actually memorize any equations. What I just do is I think of a trapezoid, if this was our trapezoid, and um, I think of the area, right? It's one half base times height one plus height two, where um, Height 1 is this and height 2 is that. So what we can just do is 1 tenth times, um, we know that our base would be our change in x, so um, from each time this would be a change in x of 2, of 3, of 4, of 1, um, we would do, for our first one it would be 2 times height 1 plus height 2, that's what the y values are. 66 plus 60 over 2 plus the next one is 
um, a change of x of 3 times 60 plus 52 all over 2. Oh, so I'm going to have to move down. And then, can you still see it? Yeah. And then our next one is going to be a change of 4. 4 times 52 plus 44 all over 2. Plus our last one, a change of x of 1. And then 44 plus 43 all over 2. And this ends up being 52.95. Um, degrees Celsius. So essentially what we're finding here is because we know that our area, that's our base, is in minutes, right? It's time. Let me draw out a picture here. So we've got minutes and we've got degrees Celsius. Since we know that our area is going to be equal to uh, degrees Celsius times minutes, right? So when we add all this up, it's going to be degrees Celsius times minutes. And then since we're dividing by the um, we're dividing by the change in time, right? Divided by minutes, we know that our average temperature is going to be in degrees Celsius, right? That's just a little way to remember it, right? And then the third part of this question is to evaluate the integral from 0 to 10 of h of t. Now, um, let me just erase this. So, using my knowledge of antiderivatives, you know that if you were to find the antiderivative of h prime of t, it would be h of t, and this is from 0 to 10, so this is all the same thing as h of 10 minus h of 0, right? And then since we have our nifty little data table here, we can see that h of 10 is 43, and then h of 0 is 66, so this is negative 23 degrees Celsius because I know it's degrees Celsius because um, h of 10 was in degrees Celsius and so was h of 0, right? So that's what um, that is. And then when we're asked to explain the meaning of the expression, um, I would say that this is the change in temperature from t equals 0 min change in temperature in degrees Celsius from t equals 0 min to t equals 10 min, right? Essentially what it's saying is how much has this pot of tea cooled down in 10 minutes? That's what this question is asking, right? So pretty simple once you sort of get the hang of it, right? So this next problem, it has these biscuits that are at 100 degrees Celsius and we were, we're given this rate at which they cool down. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the integral of that to find um, b of 10, right? And then um, we're going to add 100 to that, and that is going to equal b of 10, right? And we're going to compare that to the uh, temperature of the biscuits at t equals 10, right? So that explanation was a little confusing. Let me just use some numbers. 100 plus, oh, a terrible, you know, 0 to 10, negative 13.84 e to the negative 0 0.73 t dt. Right? And essentially what we're doing here is, let me just break it down. So, like I said with c, we're taking the integral of, this is also uh, b prime of t, this is just b of 10 minus b of 0, right? And then since we were told that at time equals 0, the biscuits are 100 degrees, we replace this with 100 degrees, and these two cancel out, 100 minus 100, and we're left with the biscuits at time 10. It's all sort of a really um, innovative, creative 
process. But like once you unlock it, it's like you you just you've got it, right? So let's uh plug that in. So we end up with B of ten equals thirty-four point one eight three degrees Celsius. But wait, we're not done with the question. It also asks us to compare this to the biscuits, right? It's saying, how much cooler, or it asks us to compare this to the tea. How much cooler are these biscuits than the tea at time, uh, time equals 10 minutes, right? So we would say B of 10 minus H of 10, which is the same thing as 34.183 minus 43. And that ends up being negative 8.817 degrees Celsius, right? So the real trick to these problems is this whole um, idea of the fundamental theory of calculus where h prime of t, the integral of that is the same thing as h of 10 minus h of 0, right? Just kind of this little tricky way to solve these problems. And yeah, that's basically how you solve them. Ooh, it's the end screen. Click on one of these links to be directed to that playlist. And don't forget to subscribe!